If I'm honest, those aren't my favorite. <laughs> oh my. That was the most shocking results. I can hear you screaming at me saying, don't do it. I really hope that those are picking up on camera. Okay, what the heck? Just as I sat down with the sun on my face, I realized that I've not put SPF on. Where you get SPF, kids? Every day. Today's video is sponsored by Dematica. I have previously worked with Dematica on my channel, I think maybe like three or four or five times. It has been tried and tested by me. I've used this on and off for nearly two years now because it was November 2020 that I first started trying out Dematica. It's a monthly skincare prescription service where they basically put a whole bunch of ingredients that are tailored to your specific skin into this little tube. So if you're the type of person that tries loads of different skin products and you haven't found one that specifically works for your skin and you want to target something specific in your skin whether it's acne or signs of aging or pigmentation rosacea melasma or even just you want to give your skin a bit more of a glow then i would definitely recommend giving this a try their dermatology team will assess your skin you send them pictures at the beginning and sort of tell them what your skin concerns are their team will then come up with a formula that is personalized to you and then they will send it to you on a monthly basis so you don't even need to leave the house and the reason that this works so well is because they have prescription strength ingredients in this which you can't just buy from like your local shop i do have a discount code as well for you guys which is Soph Does Life. I will put it on the screen. I will link it down below. It gets you your first month for £2.90 and 10% off your second month. It's usually £19.99 so that is a really good deal if you're maybe looking to try it. Let me just zoom you in and show you my skin at the moment. This is what my skin is currently looking like with no makeup on and like I said I've sort of used it on and off for the past nearly two years. I will put in some before and after pictures from last year when I was having a major breakout on my skin and I wasn't using Dematica at the time. I started using it again and it fully cleared up my face and I've said in previous videos talking about this I'm not saying that it's going to literally you like cure your life problems and you will never get a single spot again but I personally found that it drastically improved the appearance of my skin and just a little honest chat about where my skin is at at the moment I have mentioned in previous videos that I had a reaction to a concealer a while ago and it caused my skin to have a massive eczema flare-up and I basically just had to stop using all of my skincare products and just let my skin heal so I didn't use this for maybe like three or four weeks and I found that my jaw started breaking out again I will put in a picture of what my skin looked like a few weeks ago I actually did speak to their customer service team and I explained what was going on with my skin because it was time for my check in. And because my skin was especially sensitive at the time, they recommended that I change my prescription slightly and alter the ingredients, which is what I did. And I've started using it again for the past two weeks. And I had a lot of spots sort of around my jawline. And as you can see, most of the active breakouts have actually now cleared up. I've just got a few scars, which are slowly fading. I will admit I'm a bit bad in terms of like picking my skin. And if I do get a spot, I squeeze it and then they leave scars like this. So don't squeeze your spots. But the scars are fading really nicely. My skin is now flat. I don't have the active breakouts anymore. And especially on this side, this side was even worse, but it's looking so good now. Depending on the prescription that you're given and the ingredients that you have in there, it can take your skin a little while to adjust to it. And if you do have sensitive skin, they recommend on the website that you can use like a very basic gentle moisturizer in combination with this. You just need one pump of this every evening. That should be enough to do your whole face. So I will leave a link down below. Like I said, my discount code is Soph Does Life. If you want it for £2.90, your first try and 10% off your next month. What a bargain. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be trying some new makeup. Shock, never done that before. <laughs> We've got a real mix today and I'll give you my honest thoughts on them. Let's just get into it. The first thing I'm going to put on my face today is the Iconic London Super Smoother Blurring Skin Tint, which kind of look like the Iconic London version of the Hollywood Flawless Filter. Ooh, I really like the packaging. Oh my God, does this packaging not look like the Chanel... What was that foundation called that Fleur de Force used to use? The like Aqua Chanel... I can't even remember. It looks like Chanel packaging. I'm going to go for the shade Warm Fair. I also really like how it's in a plastic thing, so it's not too heavy. Okay, wait, wait, wait. It's exploding. It's exploding. It feels very silky on my face. You know what? Maybe this isn't their answer to the Hollywood Flawless Filter because I'm not really seeing a whole lot of shimmer in it, which is great. I thought it was going to be a shimmery thing. I'm going to zoom you all the way in and let's blend this out. Okay, so it does definitely give a little bit of coverage. Yeah, I was completely wrong. It is not like the uh, Flawless Filter. It's more like the Fenty Skin Tint. It's not got any shimmer in it that I can see, which is great because I was wanting to use this as more of like a foundation-y kind of type product. Well, a skin tint, that's what it is. It's actually a bit more matte than I thought it was going to be. I would say it's got a satin kind of finish. I thought it would maybe be a little bit more glowy just because Iconic London, I always think of just like glowing everything. It does look nice and it's definitely evened out my skin tone, but I will just say that I think if you have really dry skin and sort of like active dry patches, this might pick up on that a little bit, but maybe that's 
that's because I applied it with the brush and it sort of like pushed it around a bit. It does look nice, but let me just try and show you my cheek area where it does look a little bit dry. That's mostly just me being extra picky because to be honest, every single foundation that I use when I have active dry patches, it will show it a little bit, you know? But for the most part, I really like this. I think it looks really good. It's really smoothed out my skin. I like the finish of it. Next up, I have got the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. I've seen a few ads for this on TikTok. It's supposed to be similar to their Beautiful Skin Foundation, which I have done a video on before. I've got the shades 4.5 Fair and 6.5 Medium. I'm gonna go for the Fair one, because I think the other one might be a bit dark. Oh, okay. This is actually pretty fair. I thought it would be a bit darker being 4.5, but... Oh, it goes on nicely. The applicator has a lot of product on it. Maybe I will need a bit of the darker shade, actually. Just on blemishes and such, but let's... um And such and stuff. It's quite thick feeling. It's not particularly liquidy, which makes me think that it's going to have good coverage. Oh, wow. Oh, does have very nice coverage. I thought that maybe it would be a bit more sheer because, I don't know, it's like a glowing concealer, but coverage is actually really decent. Oh, that does look really nice. It feels quite hydrating under my eyes, which I like. Yeah, that looks good. I like it. I'm going to try the slightly darker shade. 6.5 medium. This doesn't look the most medium. That shade, 6.5 medium, is actually kind of the perfect shade for any blemishes because it matches the skin tone of that skin tint really nicely. Sorry, the lighting's kind of all over the place. The sun cannot decide whether it wants to be in or out. I'm doing the hokey cokey over here. <laughs> that is a very nice concealer. I prefer it to her other concealer that she's got. She, as in the brand Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> yeah, it's got good coverage. It blends like a dream and it does give some radiance. I would say that if you, like, if you're trying to cover acne or something, I wouldn't recommend this because, well, I mean, it has covered, you know, my blemish she's pretty well but you know you don't really want glowy concealer on your spots because it will sort of emphasize them a little bit that being said i don't really see any shimmer in this it's not like the flawless filter or anything but it just gives like a nice radiance to your skin i like that i have these which are from fenty so fenty actually came out with some new matchsticks which are called the shimmer skin sticks and believe it or not i've actually never tried the original fenty matchsticks so i've got the original one here in amber suede and then i've got the new shimmery one in crowned which i I thought I would use a mixture of the both because I like a bit of a glowy bronzer. I like the packaging of these. They're like hexagonal. They're pretty cool. So this one is the shade Amber Suede 09 in the original matchstick. So let me just swatch. Oh, it's actually a bit sort of harder than I thought it was going to be. They don't feel super creamy. It feels quite matte. So that's the original one. And then the shimmer stick in crowned 07. Uh, 07 looks like this. Oh, wow. Okay, that's really reflective. We'll try Oh my god, I didn't blend out the concealer on my forehead. It's quite a cool toned shade, so I think this will be really good for nose contour, actually. And it's quite fair as well. So I'll blend this in first. That blended pretty easily. On my forehead, it's not quite blending as smoothly. I'm just trying to, like, tap over it a little bit. Hmm. Did most of that colour kind of disappear? A little bit. And then on my nose... Yeah, wow, this is a really good colour for nose contour. Really good colour for nose contour. Now I'm going to go in with a shimmery one. Is this going to be a mistake? I don't know. Just to warm up my face a little bit and I guess add more bronzer than contour. Um, I won't lie, it's not the easiest thing in the world to blend out. It's kind of sticking a little bit in certain places. And I think if you are using that as a highlighter, because obviously it's designed to be like a glowy product... You might struggle to blend that out as a highlighter because you can't really like tap it in. You have to kind of aggressively blend it. It has blended. It just took me a little bit longer to get there, which is frustrating. If I'm honest, those aren't my favorite. I much prefer other contour sticks. Sorry. So for my blush, I have this, which is from Colourpop. I actually got a message from Colourpop PR asking if I would like to join the PR list. And I was like, ah. It was very exciting and I got to pick out a few different bits. So I chose one of the blush sticks because I love a cream blush. This one is in the shade, what shade did I get? What are you called? 25 slash 8, 25 8. The packaging looks like this. I did do a little swatch on my hand already because it looks quite dark in the tube. So I was like, oh, have I gone for the wrong shade? But actually when you swatch it, it comes out a lot lighter and it does feel very creamy. So I'm just going to try paint it directly onto my face. Yeah, geez, you, it's definitely a lot sheerer when it comes out. And when you blend it, it's very subtle. Like a lot of that colour's kind of disappeared. You definitely still can see it, but it's not as bright as I thought it would be. It's not as bright as I'd hoped it would be. I thought it would be a bit more pigmented. Let me try and take some directly on my brush and layer it up a bit. 
It definitely does give a bit of a glow. It feels like the texture of it is kind of slippery. Like it feels almost a bit balmy. I don't know whether it's just the color that I've chosen, but this one is very, very sheer. Like it doesn't blend out into much. I personally like my blushes to have a bit more pigment. That is a shame. I thought I was gonna love it. Instead, I'm gonna put on a bit of this, which I recently got. This is the Made by Mitchell Sweet Cheeks Liquid Blusher. The shade Sweet Cheeks is a bit, a bit more of like a Barbie pink. And it does look quite bright, doesn't it? <laughs> Oh wow, yeah, this one is very, very Barbie pink, which I mean, what was I expecting? <laughs> That's a bit better though, at least I've got some more blush colour on my face. You know what, I do actually quite like it. It's not really something that I'd reach for on a daily basis, but it's very Kylie Jenner. <laughs> very cute, very cute. For my face powder, again, I've got some bits from Colourpop. This is the Pretty Fresh Pressed Face Powder. I got the shade Fair 2. I just kind of had to guesstimate what shades I would be. Jeez, this is quite big. I like the packaging though, it's really cute. So I've got the Pressed Powder and I've also got the No Filter Setting Powder powder in translucent. I love trying a new powder because I'm always on the hunt for a new one. Oh, I like the little twisty thing. Hang on. I was like, why isn't it coming out? There's a sticker on it. But they have got one of those little twisty things so you can kind of close it off when you're traveling so it doesn't explode, which is great. Although I'm not gonna lie, most of the time I forget to do that. <laughs> and then I get to wherever I am and there's just a whole load of powder in my lid. <laughs> the color looks nice, it looks very fair. But what I am gonna do first is, oh, I've got a sponge on top of it, a very thin sponge. But you know what? Maybe we'll use that. That is a nice big mirror for a powder compact. So far the skin is actually looking really nice. I really like that iconic London tint. Okay, so. Blend out the creases. I'm gonna take the pressed powder on one side. Oh my. Okay, it has a bit of coverage. Wow. Okay, I don't like this little sponge thing. It's kind of thin and it almost stabs you in the face when you use it, but nice pressed powder. That looks very smooth and it definitely has some coverage in there. I know that this is probably gonna make me look a bit mismatched, but on the other side, I wanna try using the loose powder. So I'm gonna take some of that. Okay, this is very, very fair. Maybe this shade, maybe I should have gone for a different shade. That feels really smooth. Because it is so finely milled and it's almost white in color, makes me think that it probably will have a bit of flashback. Oh my goodness, this side looks even smoother. I know that I've just done my under eyes and this looks a little bit crazy, but I'm gonna go take a flash photo now because I'm probably gonna even them out on both sides and I wanna see if either of them flashes back. So I'll be right back. That was the most shocking results. The side with the pressed powder. Okay, don't get me wrong. Both of them definitely did have a bit of flashback. But the pressed powder side was so much worse. I thought it was gonna be the other way around. I'm shocked by that. That being said though, I still like both of the powders. And I'm just gonna even them out now by putting a bit of each on each side I still like both of them and would wear them because to be honest I don't really take flash photos very often at all in my daily life. They'll be fine By the way, I know that those two products are not new, but they're new to me for my contour and blush I'm gonna use this which is the bare basics eyes and face palette by sculpted by Amy So it's got a setting powder a bronzing powder a blusher a cream highlighter and then three eyeshadows But I'm probably just gonna use the blush and the bronzer from this today because I mean wait the cream highlighter I was gonna say it looked like a powder this one cream highlighter is really nice actually it's very like shiny also subtle at the same time so I'm gonna take the bronzer and the blush hang on this reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury one does it not I swear Charlotte Tilbury have got a really similar looking palette to that and actually they come in really handy I've really been liking the Vive one as I'm sure you know if you've watched my favorites video put a bit of that bronzer down my neck I like the bronzer it's a really nice color and then the blush actually looks quite similar to the Mitchell one that I've got on it's a very like baby doll pink kind of color can you even see oh I really like that blush this base makeup is looking really good so far. Cream highlighter. Do I try it? Do I not try it? I can hear you screaming at me saying, don't do it. Don't mess up the base. But I just am so tempted because it looks really pretty. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to take a bit on my finger, bounce it onto my skin. It's kind of working. It's not too much of an oily one. It's actually a weirdly kind of matte feeling cream highlighter with a bit of shimmer in it. Nice subtle not messing up my makeup thank god it is quite subtle but i like it it is definitely picking up on my skin amazingly without disturbing my makeup underneath yeah it's kind of subtle but it did work i quite like it let me just zoom you in for my eyebrows i have got the brow pencil by ColourPop, which is in the shade ash brown ash brown that's a dark brown i mean i guess ash brown could mean anything usually though the ash brown brow products i've had have been a lot lighter <laughs> maybe it won't come out as dark Oh yeah, wait, it doesn't come out as dark. Phew! Yeah, it really doesn't come out as dark as it is in the pencil. If anything, like, it's a bit difficult to get it to come out that dark. 
I do like it, but it's quite hard. It gets actually a little bit more difficult to get the colour to actually come out. And maybe that's a good thing, because if it did come out that dark, I would be looking like a Lego man. And I'm literally like pressing with all of my might to try and make it darker and not a lot of pigment is coming out. But that being said, I do really like the way that it's made my eyebrows look. I would prefer it if it was a bit softer, because it would be a bit easier to use. But I like how skinny it is. For my eyes, I've got this ColourPop Going Coconuts palette that looks like this. It's a bit more on the neutral side of the colors in terms of like the browns are a bit more neutral than warm actually there's a couple of warm ones in there it does look really beautiful those shimmers look gorgeous i don't know why i swatched them there but those two shimmers have got like little micro glitters in them which are really beautiful i also have some of these which are by glisten cosmetics they're the chroma flakes and they've just launched them in a whole new range of colors because i think i did try some of these before <gasps> what in the world it's one of those like multi-chrome shimmers where it reflects lots of different colors that probably won't pick up on my camera because i don't have the right kind of lighting the shade nebula oh my god the shade fairy it's like a peachy pinky gold there's also a bit of green in there so i've seen this particular eyeshadow shape on pinterest which i want to give a try to. It could go horribly wrong, but I'm just hoping that it won't. So I'm going to take the shade Lovely Bunch, which is this one, and I'm just going to put that as a wash all over my lid. I've had to switch to artificial lighting because the sun has disappeared. <laughs> Fully now gone behind a cloud, so this is just easier to be able to see. Cool. So that's just a neutral brown, which is nice. Then I'm going to take the shade De Coco, which is this one. And if I can with the brush, I'm just going to put this in the inner part of my eye here, almost as if I'm starting like a cut crease. I might need to use one of the lighter shades actually, but just putting that like in the start of my crease. And then I'm also going to take it across my waterline, not my waterline, my lash line, and almost wing it out like a liner. It's not showing up as much as I hoped. I'm going to use an angled brush to do the wing because that's probably easier. Okay, maybe for this idea to work, I should have put down the base of the other shade first to make it darker and then put this shade on top. But I'm going to do the same on the other side and then I will try and fix it. The looks that I've kind of seen like this tend to be darker shades and I was thinking that this would come out a little bit darker but it actually comes out a bit lighter than in the pan. It is a beautiful sparkly colour though. Can you kind of see what I was going for? Maybe it's not quite worked. <laughs> I'm going to try it with the lighter shade. The Coco Crush shade. Try putting a bit of that over the top. Wow, yeah, these shimmers are really nice. They're really sparkly. Okay, yeah, I definitely think I need a darker shade on like the outer corner to just make it a bit more visible. So I'm going to take some of the dark brown and use that as my liner. Now this has kind of just turned into every other neutral look that I ever do, which I didn't want. Should I go with the shade Fairy? Yeah, let's go with Fairy, which looks like this. It's like a peachy pinky. And I'm going to put those probably over the top of this shimmer. Just to give it a bit of something extra. I really hope that those are picking up on camera. Do I try putting a bit of this over the top of my liner? Let's do a little bit underneath the liner. Okay, now it just looks kind of weird. I'm just doing a bit of brown on my lower lash line. Kind of just looks like I've got like flakes of something else stuck in my liner now. Like it looks a bit odd, but I'm just going to leave it as that. And then I'm going to take the white on my inner corners. The white isn't as nice as the other shimmers, but... It definitely does the job. That is a really nice little neutrals palette and these are stunning. For my mascara, I have this, which is the YSL Lash Clash Mascara. I've heard pretty good things about this. The packaging is so bougie. Look at that. And it's huge. Like the actual mascara is massive. This is what the wand looks like. It looks kind of lethal, to be honest. It looks a bit scary, scary looking. The brush is so big that it's kind of hard not to get mascara on your eyelid. But, oh my god. It just keeps building and building. Okay, what the heck? What? 
I wasn't expecting that. That's incredible. When you first put it on, it just looks so average. Like one coat is so average, but then you can really just keep adding it and it builds and builds and builds and builds and builds. How does it do that? I don't know if this has got fibers in it or something, but it's making my lashes so long. They look amazing. The main test will be whether or not this smudges because a lot of high-end mascaras tend to smudge on me throughout the day. But in terms of length and volume, this is actually one of the best mascaras that I've tried in a long time. I've not seen my lashes look this long in ages. Like, look at them, my lashes, what the hell? So finally, for my lips, I've got a lip pencil and I've also got one of the ColourPop Glowing Lip Things, which I've wanted to test for so long because I think they're a dupe of the Makeup by Mario ones, which I've not even tried the Makeup by Mario ones. I've just heard that they're really good. And I've heard that these are really good as well. It's a tinted lip balm, basically. And I got the shade La Sienne. I don't know how to pronounce that. And then with it, I'm going to use a little bit of the REM Beauty Lip Liner, but this is a new shade. It's the shade Key Change. These are twist up, which I love. This one is a bit more pink. I like that color of pink. It's kind of like a similar-ish shade to my lip color, actually, just a bit more pink. So then I'm going to go in with the ColourPop. Mmm, it smells nice. Subtly sweet. <laughs> what a good color match. It's a bit more pink than I was expecting and a bit more pigmented than I was expecting. I thought it was gonna be a lot more sheer. Okay, with one swipe it is quite sheer, but then it really does build up into almost like a lipstick type formula. Mmm, that feels so hydrating though. This accidentally turned into a bit of a pink look, didn't it? <laughs> so this is the finished makeup look. It is quite a simple one. I thought the eyes would turn out maybe a bit cooler, but it didn't quite work how I thought it would. But that, that Glisten Cosmetics thing is absolutely beautiful. And you know what? I'm happy with pretty much everything. The only things I didn't like that much were the Fenty stick things, the contour sticks, and the ColourPop stick blush. But other than that, I like most things. Oh, and the eyebrow product was okay. Wasn't my favorite. I would love to know what you guys think down below. And if there are any other makeup products, as always, that you want me to test, let me know down below. If you like this kind of video, please give this a thumbs up. Don't forget, if you did want to try Dematica, my discount code gets you your first month for £2.90. My discount code is just Life. I hope you guys are doing good, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!